More musicians have crossed YouTube's billion view threshold than you might think. But just because these music videos are widely seen doesn't mean you know the whole story. From Taylor Swift drama to the dark side of Baby Shark Dance, here's what you didn't know about these massive music videos. Katy Perry in all her whipped cream glory typically doesn't disappoint when it comes to her music videos. Bon Appetit, which has racked up more than 721 million views since 2017, is no exception, albeit for a somewhat surprising reason. Perry has long been criticized for her brand of feminism, the kind that once waged internet wars against Taylor Swift and led the pop star to declare she wasn't a feminist while accepting Billboard's Woman of the Year award. But that was then, and this is is now. Perry since squashed her beef with Swift, admitted that she is indeed a feminist, and worked a surprise feminist conclusion into Bon Appetit. It has been pointed out that the video seems purely seductive, almost exploitative on the surface. With Perry bathed in mirepoix and prepared like a roast chicken throughout, it's only at the end of the video that the audience realizes that she's not the one getting devoured, rather she's doing the devouring herself after the chefs bind and gag hungry restaurant patrons then bake them into a pie for the songstress's enjoyment. Cannibalism aside, the video speaks to the fact that looks can be deceiving, and that women should feel empowered even when they look to be at their most vulnerable, choosing what they want to do with their bodies, even if that initially appears to not be the case. It's a great message, albeit delivered in a slightly bizarre way. There are a few things about Adam Levine that are permanently etched into our brains. His decidedly awful character in Begin Again, his string of Victoria's Secret model girlfriends, and his bizarre collection of stomach tattoos. There's so much going on with the Maroon 5 frontman to have an opinion about, it's almost enough to make us forget that the band might have actually faked crashing weddings in their music video for Sugar, which has garnered nearly 3 billion views since 2015. It's December 6, 2014. We're we're gonna drive across LA and hit every wedding we possibly can. Despite the band's mission statement at the top of the video, Cosmopolitan alleged that a fair amount of the disruptive events on display may have actually been staged. One of the brides featured appears to be Raina Hine, a runner-up from the 14th cycle of America's Next Top Model. The magazine scoured her social media for any information about a husband or fiancé, but came up totally blank. Actor Nico Everswindell, who you might know from the 2011 Lifetime movie William & Kate, also appears to get hitched in the clip, but his on-screen bride is not his real-life wife, actress Megan Ferguson. Married actors Stephen and Barbara Wu also turn up in the video, but hinted on Facebook that at least one of the weddings was staged. Ain't nothing sweeter than some fake nuptials. Baby Shark Dance has been devouring our brains on a loop since 2016, racking up more than 3 billion YouTube views and nearly rivaling the popularity of Psy's Gangnam Style. However, this infectious earworm was once a little bit more insidious. The version made popular by Korean entertainment company Pinkfong depicts small children doing the titular dance and ends with the kids running away to avoid being eaten by a family of sharks. They sing the lyric, safe at last, and presumably all is well. No lost limbs here, unless of course you're doing the original Baby Shark dance. Before it was cleaned up by Pinkfong for millions of viewers worldwide, the song was best known as a summer camp campfire standard, variations on which involved the children facing certain shark-inflicted death. This darker version may have been popular across summer camps, but it probably wouldn't have caught on as a viral tune for three-year-olds on YouTube. Instead of being a cutesy rundown of a family of sharks, the song focused on a swimmer who is viciously attacked by the sea creatures, after which CPR is attempted to no avail. In some versions of the dance, children hop around on one leg as if to mime an amputation, and then put on a show of dying from their injuries. Not only would the song be a whole lot more bleak, it would still be exactly as aggravating of a tune to listen to. It's never too late to say sorry, but Justin Bieber has never apologized for the fact that this massive hit has been stuck in our heads since 2015. Never mind the Selena Gomez drama, Sorry was penned with some of the biggest stars in the music biz, but the equally infectious music video was seemingly pulled out of nothing. Biebs ended up giving his Sorry dancers a whole lot of leeway during the filming process. The entire thing was reportedly the brainchild of Paris Goebel, who directed the video with the help of her Request dance crew. 
Goebel claimed she and two of her friends styled the dance troupe for the video mainly with clothes from her own closet. They each did their own makeup and all donned the same shade of Max Ruby Woo lipstick. Goebel didn't stress about organizing the choreography either, especially because the mega-viral clip was originally just meant to serve as the backdrop for a lyric video. Goebel told Us Weekly, "...the word that comes to mind is spontaneous. Nothing was planned too much, not even the dancing. It was more like, how do we feel on the spot?" With well over 3 billion hits, who knew something so slapped together could end up being so iconic? There are a lot of head-scratching music videos in this world, but none can compare to the moment in 2002 when all of us realized Kelly Rowland was trying to text Nelly from a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet in the music video for Dilemma. The Destiny's Child alum types into her Nokia flip phone, where you at? Holla when you get there. Nelly, of course, did not holla because Excel is not iMessage. While Nelly's music video has racked up more than 647 million views on YouTube, it was years before the stars addressed the weird, very noticeable production choice. During a 2016 appearance on the Australian TV show The Project, Nelly claimed, "...that was the new technology at the time. It looks a little dated now, I can see that." For her part, Roland discussed the infamous scene in a 2019 episode of The Real, where she made it clear that she doesn't really care about the weird decision. <laughs> I don't know what Microsoft Excel is. I, I don't know. I don't have a clue. Adele's dramatic clip for Hello has amassed more than 2.5 billion views on YouTube. The video also inexplicably uses some outdated technology. No, she doesn't try to shoot out a text on a Microsoft Office program, but she does appear to use a flip phone in the year 2015. There are only a couple possible explanations. Either Adele enjoys the simplicity of texting with T9, or the old tech was an intentional quirk injected into Adele's black-and-white world by director Xavier Dolan. Dolan. Speaking with the New York Times, Dolan revealed the truth of the matter, saying, "...as much as I love iPhones in real life, it's so distracting to see an iPhone in a movie. It's so implanted into our reality that you are sort of taken out of the material. I would have hated to see her write a text on her iPhone. I'd rather it be obsolete and use flip phones." Shape of You remains one of Ed Sheeran's biggest successes. The video has racked up over 4 billion views, while the song pretty much dominated airwaves in 2017, to the point that even Sheeran himself got sick of hearing it. That's how you know you've got a massive hit. But it almost wasn't his. In an interview with BBC Radio 1, Sheeran admitted he originally considered giving the song to Rihanna, but ultimately decided to keep it for himself, a move he probably regretted when it came time to shoot the video. The star told MTV International, "...the Shape of You video was the most physically draining video that I've ever done, because the director really wanted me to, like, look in shape." While doing sprints and pull-ups in the clip really brought him out of his comfort zone, one of the most difficult parts was the scene where Sheeran fights a sumo wrestler. His sumo suit's helmet was reportedly so uncomfortable that he asked if he could use a stunt double. That unfortunately didn't happen, and instead, the singer said he, quote, "...had to run full pelt at this 42-stone sumo wrestler," which knocked the singer to the ground. No one said good art was painless. Luis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee's video for Despacito became the first YouTube video to ever reach 6 billion views, according to Billboard. Strangely enough, the 2017 video shoot and editing process was relatively low-key. The entire thing was edited using Apple's Final Cut Pro, a favorite program for amateur content creators around the globe. Video director Carlos Perez opened up about this process, claiming the entire thing was shot in just 14 hours in La Perla, Puerto Rico. The day apparently proceeded without too many problems or causes for concern, proving that you don't need a lot of money or a lot of time to make a music video practically the whole world will see. When Lean On landed in 2015, it was inescapable, becoming Spotify's most streamed song of all time for 11 months. Such a massive song deserves a massive video. And while the clip eventually amassed more than 2.6 billion views on YouTube, it wasn't really the big production most of us would expect. Major Lazer member Diplo opened up about the filming process in a Facebook post, revealing that they had a limited budget, no label support, and just a couple of days off in India between tour dates to shoot. It took 20 
24 hours from sunrise to sunrise to improvise and make the magic happen. However, the crew was so tired that everyone slept between takes on set, including an elephant that was supposed to appear. Diplo wrote, Originally, we had plans to use an elephant in the video, but after we went over on another shot and it was time to use the elephant, it had fallen asleep. The trainer said, No elephant. If I wake him up, he will kill everyone. Now that would have been a memorable video. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite artists are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.